property. And it's important to make sure you've got one at the bottom of the stairs and one at the top of the stairs and that they're working. So when you go home tonight, especially all the children, if you can check whether you've got smoke alarms, ask your mum or dad where they are, get them to sound them for you so you know what it sounds like, make sure they're at the top and bottom of the stairs. If they're not, if your mum or dad can fit them for you, that would be great. Uh, we might be able to fit them for you if you're not able to, but it's a really good idea if you can get them up in your own houses as quickly as possible and make sure every week that they're working properly. Because the thing about the smoke alarm is as soon as it sniffs any smoke it would go off and it would warn you there's a problem and that you need to get out of the house quickly. So if the smoke alarm ever does go off during the day, it's important that you get out of the house as fast as you can and then go to your neighbours and get them to call the fire service for us. Don't stay around in the house trying to find a telephone, just get everybody out as quick as you can. The other important thing to do is the last person who goes to bed at night, make sure you've got the nighttime routine. So it's a good idea to close as many doors as you can before you go to bed because that keeps back a fire for 10 or 15 minutes. It's also useful to turn off as much electrical things like the televisions, the computers, everything in the kitchen. If it's not plugged in, then it won't be able to start you a fire in the night. So it's really, really important to make sure everything's turned off. If you need a key to get out of your front or back door, it's a good idea to keep those near the door because if you need to get out in a hurry in the middle of the night and your keys are left upstairs in the bedroom and you're trying to get out of the front door and you've got no key then that's going to cause you a few problems so try and keep the keys near the doors and it's also a good idea to have a telephone upstairs in your bedroom as well then if you ever need to call for help you've got the phone there it's a good idea to have a chat with the children when you go home tonight about what your escape plan would be for your particular house because every house is a little bit different but it is important that all the children and all the adults know how to get out which doors you'd be going out of and if you've got any other emergency ways out chip plans are beginning to smoke a little bit more now but just a couple of minutes just to talk about the other main causes of fire in the house Cooking is one of them, so if you are cooking it's really important to stay in the kitchen area and keep an eye on the cooking. Don't forget about it and go off and take a phone call, watch the television, something like that. If you've got a wood fire or a coal fire, if you're using those in the winter, just make sure that you get the chimney swept regularly as well because we go to quite a few chimney fires. And that it's got a guard in front of it to stop any children getting too close to it or any coal coming down on the carpet. Now if anybody smokes in your house, really, really important to make sure that you put out the cigarettes carefully. And if there's any matches and lighters in the house, really, really important that children never ever play with matches and lighters. So if you ever see the matches and lighters, just ask your mum or dad to move them out of reach, but never touch them and never play with them. Or a little bit more smoke, so nearly getting there. Another thing that causes quite a few fires is candles, so it's a good idea to have candles on your birthday, that's really nice, but you need to be careful with candles if there's children around in the house. Make sure that they never left in a room with lit candles and that the candles are definitely out before you go to bed. Alright, okay, so we've got a little bit of fire starting here, so just a minute or two left. Yeah, it won't be very long now. Okay, so just going to talk about chip pans. A lot of people in the old days used to have a lot of chip pans, but people now use more things like deep fat fryers, oven chips, microwave chips, or just going down the chippy. It's really important to make sure if you are using a chip pan or a frying pan, that you're really careful with them. So I can see Larry's looking for a volunteer now to help him with put some water in his tin there. So we're just going to get somebody to fill up the tin. So with the chip pans, if you're using a frying pan, chip pan or a wok, really important to stay with it all the time. Never ever leave it unattended. And you remember in the old days the advice used to be if you ever had a chip pan fire, put a damp tea towel on it and it would put out the fire. The problem was we found people left too much water on the tea towel. So when they laid it on the top, it just reacted and comes back as a huge fireball, which is what Larry's going to show us in a moment. So, over to Larry. Okay, 
away so you can see the reaction of that water and the flames you can see how dangerous it can be so the advice is really stay with the chip pan all the time you never want it to catch fire and if it ever does catch fire the advice now is if you can get to the chip pan and turn it off great but otherwise you need to close the kitchen doors get everybody out of the house and call the fire service from outside the house you can see how quickly the fire started there you just need to make sure everybody's out as quick as you can so really really important about that one so if everybody could go home tonight, make sure that you've got smoke alarms, check them at the bottom of the stairs, top of the stairs, and make sure you know what they sound like as well. And have a chat about your escape plans. It is very unusual to have a fire at home, but it's always a good idea to be prepared and know what you would do if there ever was an emergency. Thank you very much. And we've got some booklets to give out here and also over towards the entrance you'll notice the fire engines there as well so if any of the children would like to go and see the fire engine there's lots of the crew there waiting to have a chat to them thank you very much